Hello and welcome to the next video of Python bytes problem solving. In this video, we will see how to write a program to find all strobogrammatic numbers with n digits. So in this problem, we are going to create a program that finds all strobogrammatic numbers with n digits. So what is a strobogrammatic number? A strobogrammatic number is a positive number that appears same after being rotated 180 degrees. For example, if we write 1, 6, 8, 9, 1 and we rotate it 180 degrees, we get 1, 6, 8, 9, 1. If we take 88 and we rotate it 180 degrees, we get 88. So you see that when a particular number, a positive number, when it is rotated 180 degrees, we get the same number. Those, those numbers are called strobogrammatic numbers. So now let us see how do we create a program that will give us all the strobogrammatic numbers with n digits. So if we n was 2, the output would have been 1, 1, 8, 8, 9, 6 and 6, 9. So there are four numbers. If the out n was 1, we would get 1, 8, 0. So now let us start. So there are two parts to this program. One is when n is odd and when n is even. So let us first solve n is odd. So let, for the understanding, we will take n is equal to 3. So there are three positions and we start with the center position. When we are at the center, we will we can assign the values 0, 1 and 8 to it. Now, once we have assigned these values, we start going outwards. So one step left side, one step right side. So we have 0, 1, 8 as our center digits. So now when we go to these digits, the one on the left and the right, we start assigning the values. So the values can be 1, 1, they can be 8, 8. So because this is a 3 digit number, we are not assigning 0. If it was more than 3, we could have assigned even a 0 over here. So now when we assign 6, we assign 9 here. And when we assign 9 here, we assign 6. And the similar way, we will assign all the, for all the numbers that has made 1 and 8, we will do the same kind of operation. And thus we see over here that we are repeating the operations. Thus we can use recursive function. That is, we can create a function which will use itself again inside the function. So we can recursively, like repeatedly do the same operations to get the list of numbers that we are looking to get the strobogrammatic numbers. If the n was even, so for example, I'm going to take n is equal to four. So there are four values that we have to add. We'll start with the second and the third because the center, there is no center. So we'll take the mid two digits and we can start assigning values to it. So as there are four digits, we can assign the center value as 0, 0, 1, 1. So 0 will only come when we are not at the edge and we are in the middle of the number. So we have 0, 0, 1, 1, 8, 8. If it is 6, we use 9 in the second position. If it was 9, we use 6. So now we go to the next level and we go one step out that is left and right one steps. And if it is not at the edge, we use 0. But if now we are here at edge, so we use 1, 1, we 8, 8, 6 and then 9 and because it is 9 here, it is 6 and we do these operations similarly for all the digits that are in the mid and thus we get the list of all the numbers that are there that are strobogrammatic. So if we implement this, we will get all the list of all the four digit numbers that are strobogrammatic. Now let us go to the coding part and see how to implement these functions and get the list of strobogrammatic numbers when we have given n as an input to the function. Let us create a program that will help us find all the strobogrammatic numbers with n digits. So for that, we are going to use a function called get strobogrammatic numbers and argument is going to be n and we are going to output it with the result that we are looking and that result is going to be list. So n is the number of digits and over here, for example, we have taken three as the number of digits in the numbers. So let us, we, for writing this program, we are going to use a helper function. So let us define that helper function. And this helper function will help us, you run the program recursively and it will have two arguments, n and length. So let us see what does n do, n means. So it me, let us start with if n, so if the n that we had given input was equal equal to zero, what should be the output? So we are going to return an empty string, an empty list with only one string in it. So I have to remove it here. Okay. If n was one, that is a single digit, we are going to return 
the stopogrammatic digits so those are 1 8 and 0 so these are going to be uh, the digits if the, 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 it was only one digit stopogrammatic number so now we will see the from so now in the discussion we had seen we start from the middle so what is going to be the middle so we start recursively going we have to start going inside the number so we are going to use the helper function to go inside so this is going to be n minus 2 because we are going to go one step in and then the length because we have to input uh, we have to give the length over here so when we start we are going to use this helper function also over here so this is our main function so that this result is going to be a part of it so n comma n so n is the digits and the length is also n to begin with uh, this length will always remain n this n will keep changing as we keep recursing into the function so now we have got we have got to the middle and we are going to have a result of our inside function helper function and for that when we have so whatever this helper function outputs it's going to be a list so for example initially if we started with one over here uh, we would have entered one comma one and as, as soon as we have entered this function helper function we would have this condition would have been true and we would have got this as the list now it is three so we have when we enter the helper function three comma three so we start over here so none of these conditions are true so n is not zero nor one so we go to this function this part so we recursively call it so now it becomes one comma three so when it will come here so in the second loop of the recursion that is of the helper function we see that we are able to fulfill this condition and we are going to get middle as 1 8 0 and this is going to be true for the center position so now we are going to recurse through this middle in middle and what we do so if for example the condition was n is not equal to length and that is why we have taken length what we do is we are not at the end of the digits uh, end of the digit so we can input 0 over here so our result part will have this appended in it uh, 0 plus mid 0 plus mid plus 0 because if, if we are not at the end of those digits we can add zeros so now that was one condition but for all other conditions even if we are at the end we can keep appending these numbers over here and we know that what are the stroboogrammatic digits so 1 8 6 and 9 which we can add so we will add over here and i'm going to copy this three more times because there are three more conditions where it is going to be true so if we are going to add 8 we can add 8 on both the sides and if we are going to add a 6 on one side the other side has to be 9 and if the one side is going to be 9 the other side is going to be 6 so these are all this is how we are going to create a number from inside out and this is at the end of our helper function also so if we now run this code and we add 2 over here we will get output as oh so it says results is refreshed before the end scoping so we have to use this results so i am going to replace over here it results and now run it and we got it at none because we forgot to return the results at the end of our helper function we have to return results over here which we forgot so let us add that and now we have got our output as 11 88 69 and 96 if we go to three digits we will get output as 111 818 so you see that the second digit or the first and last digit were never zero but if you increment this to five we will surely encounter this condition and we will have a lot of numbers which will have the middle digits also as zero so this is where all the three digits are zero and there are alternatively zeros also but the last digit will never be zero because that way we will not have the enough uh, digits that we want if it was zero and four digits it will become a four digit number and not a five digit number so that is why this condition is very important to be added that if n is not equal to length then only we add zeros otherwise we do not add zeros i hope you understood what are stopogrammatic numbers and how to write a program to generate n digit stopogrammatic number please like this video and subscribe to the channel leave your comments in the comment section with your feedback and questions find the link to the code in the git repository goodbye till next time keep coding